Today we're going to do the Otter Creek East Trail. Uh, you can see the beginning here behind me and parking is just off to my right. But we're going to try this trail. It's about 2.7 miles. Um, if we do the full loop and come all the way around, it's about 4.6 4 miles. So we'll get some pictures through this and some video and we'll give you an idea what this is like. Um, signage the front clearly displays the mileage on each loop and the full loop mileage, plus some directions from the National Park Service on whether you can have pets, where you can take bikes on the trail, and in general, just some rules for National Park Service. The first part of the trail is single track with tall grass on either side. It goes between sunny areas and some shaded areas before going into a shaded area with some tall pines. So not that far into the trail, there's kind of an interesting difference here. We have lots of pines. And if I pan over here, it's the trail in front of me, and then quickly on the left side, it's all hardwoods. So the thought is, is that pines here were part of a project to uh, reforest, because a lot of them look like they're planted in rows. So the trail quickly changes when you come out of the forested area in the first quarter mile being pretty uh, weedy, grassy. Um, we were on a single track dirt trail and now you can see and it's gotten a little wider here but it gets pretty narrow and it almost looks like we're on a deer trail um, and there's some soft muddy spots so I'm wearing my Chacos which I'm doing just fine with but if you come out after a rain you're gonna encounter some muddy spots that you may want to have a hiking shoe or something else on them. You can see right here, I'm gonna kind of put the camera down. Pretty muddy there, you can see where someone stepped in. But it's definitely a change in terrain as far as what you're walking on. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to put on some bug spray. Um, we've gone through forest, to field with grass, to field with ferns, um, and mosquitoes and flies. Uh, are definitely something you, you'll have to contend with. They're not horrible, but enough to annoy you. So we've put on some uh, some uh, non-deep bug spray that seemed to be working okay. And we're gonna keep going here, but just a heads up, um, it is August 4th, so well, the bugs are in their prime season right now. So just a heads up, you have this beautiful scenery, but you're definitely gonna want some bug spray to uh, keep the biting flies and the the mosquitoes at bay. When you come out of the, a lot of the forested areas, this is where you're going to get into these really tall ferns. Um, I'm pretty short at five foot two, but at uh, one point and through these trails, I kind of had my arms lifted up so that the ferns uh, weren't uh, hitting, hitting my arms as I was walking through the trail. Uh, it's really beautiful, but uh, just a heads up that you're gonna have some uh, tickling ferns. So here we are at marker two on the trail. We're out of the woods and the ferns and we're on this uh, two track. Uh, once we go around the fence here and then we walk a little bit down this two track is where we actually get to Otter Lake. thing when you find a lake in Michigan and there aren't cottages all the way around it. It's just not something you see, especially one this time. It's pretty cool. So once we got through with the trail, here we are at Otter Lake. Um, pretty beautiful, like a lot of lakes around here, like Platte Lake, uh, Crystal Lake, uh, bright blue water, tropical looking, you can see behind me here. Uh, warm, it's August, it should be, and uh, we're going to keep going down the trail. Uh, there's a two-track. It looks like there's a cabin here. I'm not sure what's up with the cabin because we're on uh, National Park land, but uh, we're going to keep going down the trail and see what else we can see as we loop back around to Esh Road uh, to where the trail starts. So here's the two-track I was talking about when we left the lake. Um, that cabin actually turned out to be somebody's home, summer home. The owners had just came home and their dog greeted us friendly. But uh, yeah, they let themselves in through their gate and that's their summer home, which is pretty
pretty awesome if you ask me. Great location. So far we can see just their place and one other on the lake. So we're gonna keep going down the trail here. We're coming up to a road and uh, we'll see what's our rest of the way down the, down the road here, down the trail. Here we are at number three on the loop, which is Bass Lake. There's a nice dock here and kayak launch. Dragonflies flying around, including a beautiful red dragonfly hanging out on the uh, tip of a lake reed. There's a couple places along here. You can hear in the background is a grandma talking to her grandsons. Some folks out fishing and some folks out in some kayaks. For another nice quiet northern Michigan lake that uh, you could only get to through some back roads or hiking in like we did. In the parking lot area you'll find a map to the Platte Plains Trail including the Bass Lake Loop. This lays out uh, the entire map which is 14.7 miles of trails and then you'll see here's the starting point uh, that gets you to either Bass Lake Loop, the Platte River, the West Branch, the Lasso Loop, or the White Pine, which is three kilometers to a campground. So here we are on the Otter Creek West Trail. Started on the east, worked our way to Otter Lake, over to Bass Lake. And then we had to backtrack a bit. Sorry, mosquitoes. We had to backtrack a little bit from where the boat launch and parking lot are located to a two track. Um, you might miss it because the sign is pretty faint. But if you happen to do what we did, which is go to Bass Lake, sit on the bench at the dock, then uh, you have to backtrack a little bit, hang a left at the two track, and then the trail cuts off to the left. So uh, we're on the trail, mosquitoes are still out, but uh, we're moving pretty well. This is a one point, I think the sign said 1.7 mile, back to Ash Road, or Ash Beach and uh, we're gonna keep trucking but this kind of gives you an idea it's a pretty wide trail not like the narrow trail that we had on the East Loop for most of it. The West Trail is really nice wide trail um, there's still some ferns but it's shady and sunny um, it was a really nice change from the open fields on the East Trail where we had the tall ferns and we had the grasses and it was tending to get a little bit hot um, you can see here we're right along Otter Lake. Um, there's some little side trails here and there that go right down to the lake if you feel the need to cool off. There's a couple specifically with some benches. Um, but for the most part, this is a really nice stretch of trail, uh, which leads us to a two-track, um, but this stretch is really nice. So now we've come off the single trail, and there's a gate. And just keep going past the gate, and there's a two-track again. So we're about halfway to two-thirds down the two-track heading back to where we're parked at Ash Beach. And here's a parking spot, about four cars here. And I'm gonna pan around here and there's some signage clearly stating no pets. Just like I mentioned earlier, there's some trails. And this is a trail to go to Lake Michigan. I'm clearly marking that you must keep your clothes on or your swimsuit in this case, because public nudity is prohibited in Michigan. Getting towards the end here, and this is the first parking spot that we were gonna use, not knowing where the two track went on this west loop. As you can see, there's some folks here. And then if I go this way, so we're gonna keep walking. Here's the two track leading into it. It's a little bumpy, some ruts, some pretty close trees. So you just have to decide if you're okay with going through them or stick your hand out your car window and uh, push those branches aside. But we're now coming out of the West Loop. I'm gonna cross over Otter Creek, and then we'll be back at our car. So here we are, back by the parking area, and here's Otter Creek. So we've done the complete 4.7 mile loop, and the creek behind me goes out to Lake Michigan. Uh, back behind me is actually where Otter Creek comes out to Lake Michigan. As you can hear behind me and background, there's lots of people here at the beach on this beautiful summer day. 
and uh, what's not to love. So, hope you can make it out, do the Otter Creek, Creek Trail. When you're done, come out, enjoy the beautiful Esh Beach, which is dog friendly, and enjoy uh, beautiful Northern Michigan. Thank you.